Hey, you're listening to Marketing Out Loud, a daily podcast where I share advice, stories, and insights to help you build a thriving consulting or professional services practice. To subscribe to the show, head over to marketingoutloud.fm. The fate of your business ultimately comes down to the fundamental economics of supply and demand. How successful you are, how much you charge, how big your business is, all of this is a function of supply and demand. And when you understand the interplay between supply and demand and the effects that it has on your business, things become much more clear. So let's break it down. Supply is your capacity to solve client problems. Okay, this is the time that you and your team have to help clients solve problems and achieve results. And in the context of your market, it's the combined capacity of yourself and your competitors to solve client problems. Now, supply is fixed. Okay, you can increase supply by hiring more people, but in the short term, at least, it's fixed. And even when you do hire more people, quality usually suffers. So expanding supply is not always the best option. Demand is the market's need for your services. Demand is the number of clients out there who have the problem that you solve and are looking for someone to solve it. And demand is also fixed. There's no unlimited supply of clients that I'm aware of, at least. There are some markets that are bigger than others, but demand is by and large fixed, and it's not something that you have direct control over. Okay, so we have supply and we have demand. Now, when supply is greater than demand, in Economics 101, we learn that prices go down because customers are not willing to pay a premium for something that's readily available. So think about the price of produce in the winter. When it's not peach season here in Ontario, the price of peaches goes up because they have to import them from some tropical country and there's less of them available. But when it is peach season and peaches are in plentiful supply, then prices go down. So when supply is greater than demand, prices go down. But when demand is greater than supply, prices go up. When there's more customers than there are suppliers, then prices have to go up. When buyers know that the resources that they need to to, to solve their problem are in limited supply, and if they don't get their hands on those resources, they're out of luck, prices are going to go up. So what does this mean for your business? Well, a few things. First of all, there's a positioning lesson in this. You want to play in a market where demand is greater than supply. And a common mistake that people make here is they jump into markets where demand is high without looking at the supply side. Maybe there are a lot of clients who need help in that market, but there might be a lot of competitors as well. And unless you have a meaningful way to differentiate yourself from those competitors, that's going to be a tough market to enter. So you want to play in a market where there's more demand than supply, but also you have something that clearly separates you from the competition. So not only is demand higher than supply, but for a segment of that market, you're really the only option that they have. So for that specific segment, you're the only supply that's available and anyone else would be a compromise. And if you can get there, then you can charge whatever you want. Now, once you have your positioning straight and you're playing in the right market, then it all comes down to marketing because without marketing, there is no demand. Okay, without marketing, supply may be there, but if no one knows about it, then there's no demand. So once you're positioned well, your focus should be on getting your message out to the widest possible audience within your target market so you can get to the point where demand is greater than supply for you. And there's a tipping point here. In the beginning, when you know, you're the industry's best kept secret, even though you're positioned well, supply is going to be greater than demand for your business. But eventually, When you have your positioning straight and with the right marketing focus, you will get to the point where demand is greater than supply for you, where you have more clients coming in the door than you could possibly work with. And when that happens, that's really where the fun begins. Hey, thanks for listening. Do me a favor. If you like what you hear, go on iTunes and leave us a rating and a review because it helps more people discover the show. Thanks so much.